Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today's video is a spring glowy tutorial. You all know we are in spring, it's springtime. Okay, enough with the weirdness. Anyways, I wanted to do a kind of pink look because when I think of spring, I automatically think of pink flowers, pink flowers everywhere. That's what I think about. And like pastel colors. Basically, that's what inspired me for this look. So if you guys want to see how to get this nice glowy pink kind of look, just keep watching, girl. All right, so first I'm gonna start off by picking up my hair, making sure it's out of my face. And I wanna start by doing my eyebrows, so I'm using both the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer and who's texting me? And the um, Chella, what is this? Chella Hello Beautiful Eyes. I got this in my Boxy Charm, and I, I'm trying it out. I kind of like it. I'm not sure yet how I feel about it, but I'm just using the Chella pencil to basically line up and fill in the ends of my eyebrows as well as lining the bottom line of my eyebrows. And then I go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer, Definer to fill in the front part because it is a lighter shade. It is in the shade Soft Brown. So I use that to fill in the front part. And now going in with the Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream for Eyes um, in the shade Light. I'm using this as a base for my eyeshadow. So I'm just going to put a couple clicks on there and then I'm going to rub it in with my finger. I like to rub it in with my finger because the warmth of my finger just melts it straight into uh, my skin. It makes it nice and smooth. And I'm not going to set this product just because it's so lightweight. Usually when I use other concealers, I do set it, but I don't feel the need to set it with this product. I love it. And I'm going in with the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette, which is my favorite palette of all time. And I'm using the Salted Caramel as a crease color as well as a transition color. So I'm just going to build it into the crease and then slowly start uh, blending it upwards. So yeah, I'm just like blending the heck out of this. And now I'm spritzing my brush with MAC Fix Plus and I'm dipping it in that super cute uh, color which is Strawberry Bonbon. And I'm just really like getting it all over my lid. I'm just packing it in there. And then I'm going into the Milk Chocolate which is a beautiful light brown color. And I'm going to focus that on the outer V and then slowly start to build it up as well as um, building it into the crease. So for my eye look, I'm really going for something really subtle, super like cutesy and subtle, something I can wear like every day, really. And now I'm just packing in that strawberry color again to intensify the pink. I'm just lightly blending it. And now I'm going into that color all the way at the bottom, which I don't know the name of it, but it's like a beautiful pearly kind of light pink purple color. And I'm going to use that to highlight my brow bone as well as my tear duct. And then I'm going in with the Kat Von, Von D uh, Tattoo Liner in Trooper. And I'm just making a small line on my actual eyelid. And then I'm going to be doing a thin wing. I don't want to make it super thick because again, I kind of want this as like an everyday look. I don't want to make it too crazy. I'm going for a very subtle look. 
And I did get out of frame, but this is how it turned out at the end. Now I'm going to be going in with the Nivea Man Sensitive Cooling Post Shave Balm. I love how this stuff smells. So I'm just rubbing that in all around my face until it gets nice and tacky. And then going in with the Pore Professional by Benefit, basically in my T-zone area because that is where I have larger pores and I kind of tend to get a little bit oily. Not that much really because I tend to have dry skin. And I'm also putting that on on my blemishes just to smooth it out. And now to top it off, I'm going to spritz MAC Fix Plus all over my face, which I love to do just because I feel like it makes my foundation a little bit more dewy, more luminous in a way. I don't know, it might just be me in my head, but whatever. And then I like to use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is in the shade 20 and it is like exactly my shade. So I only use it really to conceal all my blemishes and any red areas. And then I'm going to blend it out with the Beauty Blender with a really light hand because I don't want it to pick up most of the product. I want it to still be there. And then going in with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. And this is in the shade 120, uh, which is Y245. I'm putting the product straight on my beauty blender just because I feel like it will absorb it a little bit more and since I did moisturize already and I put the MAC Fix Plus, I don't want it to look greasy, I just want it to look dewy. So now I'm going in with the Naked Skin uh, in the color Fair Neutral and the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Um, I use both of them just because the Naked Skin one is a little bit too fair for my skin tone. So I use the Maybelline one just to make it more even towards my skin tone. So I'm putting the concealer, um, <laughs> I'm making like weird little faces. I'm putting it basically all over um, on my under eyes, the side of my nose, the center of my nose, my forehead, my cupid's bow, chin. And I also dotted with the Maybelline for me basically everywhere that I put the naked skin one. And I'm just blending it out. And now I'm going in with the Sephora and Pantone Universe Correct and Conceal Palette in Light Medium. And I'm using those two dark shades at the bottom. It is a little bit orange, but it's okay because I did want kind of like an orange glow. And I will tone it down um, a little bit more ahead, you'll see. So I'm going to contour everywhere where I usually contour, which would be my cheekbones, uh, the top of my forehead, my temples, and my jawline. And then sadly, I literally have like no chin. I don't know if you can tell why. I don't know why. I just literally have no chin. So the way I create an illusion that I do have a chin is by smiling and then contouring the sides by following that smile line. And then right under, I also put a line to create a shadow. So now I'm contouring my nose. And I'm sure you guys know, but just in case you don't know, the way you contour your nose, depending on how... Um, narrow you want your sh your nose is how close you put the contour lines so this is a close-up so you see everywhere that I do contour just in case I didn't explain it well enough there you go and I'm just blending it out with my damn beauty blender So now I'm going to go in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and first I'm going to blend out any crease lines that I did get while blending out the, uh, the contour and then I'm going to dust the Laura Mercier Powder. I don't really want to bake because I tend like it makes it a little bit look cakey under my eyes so I'm just dusting it and then I'm going into the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit using that banana shade and I'm basically putting that everywhere where I put concealer just to brighten up the face. So now I'm going in with my matte MAC blush in the shade Harmony. And I'm just putting this everywhere that I contoured. I'm using this basically as like a setting powder for it and also to kind of intensify the contour, but at the same time, toning down that orange color. 
All right, so now for the under eye area, I'm gonna go in the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette again and using that salted caramel, I'm just going to like lightly put it really tight to the waterline. Then I'm going in with the Better Than Sex Mascara first and then I will be using my Wet n Wild Max Volume Plus Mascara. I just like to use both because the Better Than Sex one, I love the formula, but it tends to clump up my eyelashes and I honestly am not the type of person that likes clumpy eyelashes. I know there's people that do like it, but I personally don't. So I just use the Wet n Wild Mascara to kind of stri straighten it out and not be so clumpy. And then for the waterline, I'm using a Ofra um, eyeliner in the color Green Go. And then I'm using the matte uh, blush in Pincho Peach. And this is a very pigmented blush, so you just want to do this with a really light hand. So as you see, I'm just dusting it in the apples of my cheeks with a really light hand. And I'm dancing because it's time to highlight. And I'm spritzing my brush with Fix Some Fix Plus. And then I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Glow Kit in Gleam. And I'm, and I'm highlighting with um, basically a mixture of Hard Candy, Starburst, and Crushed Pearl. So I'm just highlighting um, everywhere where you typically highlight. And I'm setting it in with the Beauty Blender. And I like to do this because I feel like it just settles in the powder to your face. And then for lip liner, I'm using a Jordana lip liner in the color Rock and Rose. And I'm just applying this all over my lip. And then I'm going to go in with a ColourPop lippy stick in the color Kiddo all over the lip and then in the lower lip and upper lip center area I'm going to be using the color button as well from Colourpop and that is it for this cute glowy spring look I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the thumbs up button as well as subscribe and leave some comments below if you guys have any tips or anything that you guys want to watch see you guys next time